Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here. Hope you're having a good weekend. I'm here today with a project for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And something slightly different today. Um, I'm hoping you'll enjoy these little projects. I am planning to try and do a tutorial for this um, and speed the video up. Um, so I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and hope it works and uh, I'm just going to bash on and let you see the two projects that I have made and then go on into the project that I'm about to make. So here we go. Um, this is my first project and it's a little gift bag. Oh, a little bit of paper in there. Um, it's a little gift bag and I just thought it would be perfect for different occasions you could put a birthday gift inside there um, the list is endless you could do umpteen different themes on these you could do like um, little handbags for a, a hen party or a bachelorette bachelorette party um, by putting overnight goodies if you're going away for the weekend in there to give to your give to your friends um, I've made another one which is actually a, a, a school a teacher's gift bag as well and uh, the list's endless but what I've, what I've actually made these with is um, you know the little dollar chipboard mini albums that everybody was getting about a year and a half, two years ago? Well, I was tidying out in here a while back and I came across a whole batch of them. And I've got handbags, butterflies, teapots, um, apples, you name it. I've just about got all the shapes that there is. And I, and I imagine quite a lot of other people have them as well. Um, so this is what I made with it. I used Pink Paisley's Nantucket patterned paper to cover this and then embellished it with all the Wild Orchid Craft gorgeous goodies. So we've got the Guy Pure Lace, we've got pink rhinestones, we've got the four millimeter flat back pearl here and here around the handle. We've got these strawberry wild roses which are absolutely gorgeous and they're on special offer at the moment. We've got the larger iridescent butterfly here, pearl sprays from the wedding section, um, pink, if you can see those, pink skeleton leaves and eight millimeter open roses and I've used one of the stick pins and I made a little stick pin for it. You can buy tiny little pins and this is the size that they are, they're about two inches. Oops, but they're perfect for sticking in a project. Um, and they just sit fine without having, I usually have to chop bits off the big long ones um, before I put it in. So that was my first project. And then the second one is this one here, and it's kind of like a teacher's gift. Gift. All you need to do is just move the handle, pop in the goodie for the teacher, and then give it to your wee one to hand over. And this, I thought, was kind of boy-themed. Um, I've used kind of blues, browns, oranges. Um, I've used peach. It's kind of a dark peach and a nice... Um, light chocolatey kind of brown it's almost like a rust color and a blue cherry blossom and also the two-tone uh, cream and green rose leaves there um, and what I did for the handle was I took three strips of uh, craft cardstock and I plaited it as you would here I cut them into 10 millimeters a one yeah 10 millimeter or one centimeter strip and then just braided it uh, and attached it with the tiny attacher at the side here and here and I've edged everything in vintage photo on this one and everything was edged in frayed burlap for this one so that's the the project and I'm going to go and see what Chunky's barking at and I'll be back in a second with the tutorial Okay, so that's me back. I'm going to head into this tutorial now um, and I hope you enjoy it. I've chosen to use Melissa Francis Fifth Avenue patterned paper for this one and the two papers that I've pulled out um, are these ones here 
uh, the Vintage Ladies and 6x6 fits this perfectly. So I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to get on with this and see you at the other side.
Okay then, that's the end of this tutorial. I'm hoping it's going to work out, fingers crossed. Um, and I hope you fancy making one yourself. Really easy to do, doesn't take long at all. And uh, have fun crafting. Um, and I'll see you all next week with another project.